Hello there, my beautiful Pisces, and welcome to your Tarot After Dark Love Reading with me, Miss Machiste. Pisces, we are going to be looking into your love life for the end of July into August. Please keep in mind that time is fluid, and this reading can resonate for Pisces Sun, Moon, rising and venus signs if you're new here welcome please do not forget to subscribe and if you are a returning pisces welcome back and thank you so very much for being here and for watching <clears throat> i truly appreciate each and every one of my fellow pisces out there i am also a pisces sun so comment down below your pisces placement Please do not forget as well to like this video. It really helps my channel grow. So Pisces, let's get started and let's get into it. We are going to be doing the you versus them spread. I'm going to get your energy, the mutual energy between you and your person and as well as your person's energy for the end of July into August. Pisces, please keep in mind that for some of you, the energies may be coming out backwards. You may end up on their side. They may end up on your side. So please assign the roles as you wish. And single Pisces, you can watch this reading as well because we may um, be tapping into somebody that will be coming your way. So let's see here, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Spirit, I need a card for Pisces. I need the mutual energy between Pisces and their person, and I need Pisces person's energy. We're going to get one card right now, and then we are going to clarify. So let's see Pisces. In your energy, you come through as the Six of Cups. In the mutual energy, we have the Two of Wands. And your person's energy is the chariot. All right, so Pisces, you could be dealing with a Cancer. Um, with them coming through as a chariot, you could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. We do have water energy here. Um, in the mutual energy, we have the two of wands, which is some fire. So Pisces, you're coming through as a six of cups. You are very supportive. You are very caring. You are very nurturing. You're really coming through as like that beautiful Piscean energy, which you're very compassionate and very kind. Your person is coming through as the chariot. So they are very interested in movement forward with you. I feel like your person is in a position of really wanting to move away from the past really have a lot of victory for this connection with the chariot here you may live at a distance from your person or there may be some travel involved to see your person but nonetheless i definitely do feel like whoever you are connecting with is focused on what's ahead they're definitely not looking back and i do feel like with this two of wands in the mutual energy i do not feel like you are very stuck in the past either with this two of wands in the mutual energy, you and this person are both really embracing what's to come for this connection. There is an extreme sense of letting go of the past, letting go of past people, letting go of past arguments, miscommunications, past misunderstandings, and really focusing on what's to come for this connection, opposed to what has happened in the past with this connection or what has happened in the past for the both of you. So it definitely looks like you two are really focused on uh, movement forward. And Pisces, you are very um, nurturing at this time. You are very supportive and you're just very caring. I feel like this person who, are you, who, who you are connecting with here feels as though the possibilities are endless for you both. I feel like this person feels like you two can be victorious in this connection no matter what path you two go down. So let's clarify this here for my beautiful Pisces. Please clarify Pisces energy, the mutual energy, and this person's energy. So Pisces, clarifying the Six of Cups, we have the King of Wands. In your energy, in the mutual energy, we have the High Priestess with the Two of Wands. 
We also have the chariot here with the four of cups. Water energy. All right, so Pisces, you're really looking magnetic. You are confident. You are naturally attractive to people right now. You are extremely abundant. You are feeling good in your own skin and you're really just sitting on your beautiful throne here. Some of you, you may deal with a fire sign. It doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. But this King of Wands is showing on your side that you are extremely attractive right now. You are very magnetic and I do feel like for a lot of you Pisces, if your person has been, um, I want to say the word ignoring you or if your person has been, I don't want to say the word ignoring because I don't feel like they've been ignoring you. If they, if your person has been not giving you exactly what you want out of this connection, I do feel like they are moving past that. I feel like they are trying to figure out what makes you happy, what offers are exciting to you. For some of you, you definitely could be connecting with somebody who has a little bit of a different sort of love language. But with the High Priestess and the Mutual Energy, you and this person have an extremely strong telepathic connection. So if you've been dealing with this person for quite some time, I feel like they energetically can just feel your vibes when you want more love or when you want more attention or when you want more support or possibly when you're feeling ignored. I feel like this person is really starting to understand you when in the past they may have not really been um, that understanding towards your energy, but I feel like this person is really trying now to understand what makes you happy, Pisces, because it looks like they are focused on bringing happiness to you. With the High Priestess as well, I do feel like in the past, you two may have held things from one another. Could have been your feelings. There could have been, you know, um, not really wanting friends to know about the connection, not wanting family to know about this connection. But I feel like now you two are making the decision to be more open with this relationship. And um, the telepathic connection you two share is very strong. You two are definitely connected at the third eye. Um, you two may have dreams about one another as well, but let's clarify this here for you, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. I do feel like for some of you, Pisces as well, if this is a newer energy, I feel like they're trying to figure out, like I said, what excites you? How do I love Pisces? You know, everybody has different love languages. So let's clarify this here. High Priestess in the Mutual Energy, which is you, Pisces, and Virgo. And that may be why you're coming through as the King of Wands, because you're focused on things that make you feel good. And this person's like, all right, I need to make my Pisces feel good. If I want victory, if I want movement forward, you know, Pisces can't be the only one showing me caring and support. Like, I need to give it back as well. King of Wands, clarified by the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you have mental clarity. You're sitting in an extremely strong sense of independence, but also being caring. And that is a true gift, Pisces, that you have where, you know, you can still be very free-flowing, independent in your own skin, but also show caring and nurturing energy to other people. So you do have that gift of being a very dual energy. On this High Priestess, we have the Emperor. And on the Four of Cups here, we have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, this person is really wanting to give you what you want. This person is really trying to give Pisces things that keep them, you know, I don't want to say the word entertain, but Pisces, you know, like you don't want to be bored. For some of you Pisces, I do feel like this person may have been boring you at a certain point of this relationship. Whether you said that or not, um, maybe you just took back more of a sense of independence because you're like kind of like, all right, things are not really that exciting right now. You know, sometimes things don't have to be exciting, though. You know, sometimes things just being stable, normal, and balanced is good. But Pisces does like a little bit of action. 
you know they like to be on their feet they like to be excited and enthusiastic in their love life situations so i feel like this person is figuring that out i do feel like as well with this knight of swords energy this person is going to be communicating with you a lot a lot knight of swords very fast-paced communication a lot of talking um i do feel like this person like i said i do feel like for some of you pisces the way this person communicates or the way that they show love may be a little bit boring to you and they may like i said they're trying to understand how to love you pisces and i feel like they're gonna try to make things more exciting and just make things more just uplifting it's not like things weren't uplifting i just do get a sense of you possibly being a little bit bored and them figuring that out them understanding that and saying you know i want to give my pisces what they want so i'm going to be more communicative i'm going to answer back faster i'm going to be more outward with the things that i will talk about and the things that i will do with the emperor in the mutual energy i definitely do feel like you both want to have control of this connection and i feel like with this emperor coming through as well on the high priestess i do feel like this is an extremely strong counterpart of yours a very strong telepathic soulmate connection that you are in with this person or will be in with this person um, with the Emperor here, I do feel like you both feel like this is the one. Like you are the one, they are the one. Let's clarify this one more time. There's definitely a lot of conversation with this person, but Pisces, you just have this sense of confidence and passion and independence that's just so alluring towards this person. It's kind of like they're like, wait a minute. If I don't start making things exciting for Pisces, Pisces may want to go find exciting things for themselves not necessarily finding other people but just you know if they're not bringing you enthusiastic energy maybe you will hang out with friends more or maybe um people that do keep things exciting this person's going to try to keep things exciting or try to make things exciting for you so let's clarify one more time here pisces on this queen of swords we have the page of pentacles this is Earth energy. On this Emperor, which is Aries energy, we have the Seven of Wands. Yeah, like I said, you both want to have control of this connection, but you don't, you, neither of you want to be controlling. So the Seven of Wands being here definitely shows that you both really choose your words wisely with one another and really try to sit in your position of fighting for what you want, but also understanding that your person may have a different opinion or a different way of doing things or a different way of showing love knight of swords here with judgment so for some of you pisces this definitely could be a past person that rejected you or um wasn't giving you what you wanted they may come around and be like hey pisces i want to give you what you've always wanted from me um, for others of you, Pisces, this is definitely the person that you are in connection with. They do not want to give up on you. They do not want to lose this connection. They want to make things more exciting for you. Page of Pentacles, they may give you to an idea of doing something together in the physical. They may say, hey, let's go here. Let's go on this adventure. Let's go to, um, I don't know, let's go to the amusement park. Let's go to the mall. Let's go to wherever like they're trying to keep things exciting with you now like they don't this person they don't want you to get bored of them that's what i feel they are gonna try their best for you not to get bored with them and i really do feel like you both are trying your very hard to not be a controlling energy to either of each other let me um i'm gonna clarify this mutual energy for you pisces and then we will get each zodiac signs feelings for you why is the seven of wands here and we have the ace of wands why did i figure why did i feel like that was going to come out ace of wands yeah the passion between the two of you is very intense 
The connection between the two of you is very intense. Pisces, you are a gift. They see you as a gift. If they didn't see you as a gift before, they see it now. And they really want to make sure that you are feeling this connection, you are excited about them, and you really want to move forward. You are showing out, you are really in a beautiful energy here, and they want to make sure that you are staying into them or that you want to be into them. Like I said, this could be a past person who um, rejected you in the past, coming around, wanting to restart things with you. You know, in the past, you both may have felt a telepathic connection. For others of you Pisces, if you are in a relationship, like I said, they just don't want you to get bored. They want to make things exciting. And if this is a new person, I do feel like they are exciting. I do feel like they are a very uplifting energy. They will be very complimentive towards you. The attraction is definitely through the roof. And I feel like this person is going to try their best once again to make things fun. Definitely it's time for more fun in your love life here, Pisces. So in terms of zodiac signs, the only majors I have are the High Priestess, the Emperor, the Chariot, and Judgment. So that would be Cancer, Pisces, Virgo, and Aries. I do have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. I do have a lot of court cards, fire, air, earth. Judgment would be fixed sign energy. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and... Who the heck is the other one? Aquarius. There you go. All right, Pisces. Let's look into each zodiac sign's feelings for you. All the way from Aries to Pisces spirit. We're going to get two cards per zodiac sign. We are going to be getting each zodiac sign's feelings for you towards the end of July into the beginning of August. Spirit for my beautiful Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. All right, here we go, Pisces. We have Aries feelings for you as the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. So Aries is definitely interested in working on this connection. They feel very emotionally connected towards you. Aries is definitely loving you, falling in love with you. They have feelings for you. You may work with an Aries Eight of Pentacles. If not, Aries is definitely interested in putting the work into seeing this connection grow, especially on an emotional level. Next, we have his Taurus feelings for you as the Knight of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. So it does look like Taurus is feeling very attracted towards your energy right now. Knight of Wands, Six of Pentacles, you may be dealing with a Taurus who gives a lot to a lot of people. They may be a very in and out energy, but with the Knight of Wands coming through, they want back in to your energy. They want to give and receive with you. They want reciprocated energy with you somehow. Um, I do feel like for some of you, you could be dealing with a player Taurus who is just all over the place, gives a lot to a lot of people, or you're dealing with a Taurus who just has a lot going on. Work, family, friends, whatever the case may be, but nonetheless, they are coming back in to give some of their energy to this connection. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Taurus. If you're in a relationship with a Taurus, they may do a lot for work, but they are gonna try to make you feel wanted as best as they can. The Knight of Wands is sometimes a little bit selfish with their energy. Next, we have his Gemini's feelings for you as the King of Cups and the Five of Cups. So Gemini is definitely in a position of wanting commitment with you. They feel very emotionally tied to you. They definitely love you here, but with the Five of Cups, they do feel a sense of disappointment. So you may not really like Gemini back or... Um, Something may have happened here that caused sadness between the two of you, but I do feel like Gemini is still interested in this relationship. Next we have is Cancer's feelings for you, Pisces, as the Two of Pentacles and the Lovers. So Cancer is trying to make a decision about this connection. I feel like Cancer is coming to... Um, their decision-making, but it's taking a little bit. I feel like Cancer is deciding that they're either deciding that they want to commit to you or they may be deciding that they want to drop this connection. It's either or. For some of you, a Cancer views you this way. You may be making a choice with a Cancer and they feel like you haven't made a decision yet either. It could go either way with this, but there's definitely a decision to either commit or drop the connection altogether. 
Next we have is Leo's feelings for you as the King of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. So Leo is definitely in a position of wanting commitment with you as well. They are stable, they are secure, and they definitely find you as somebody that they could be very stable with and have a lot of foundation here. I do feel like with the Six of Wands, um, Leo is really wanting your attention. I feel like you really want Leo's attention as well. There is a beautiful um, reciprocation of appreciation with Leo. And I definitely do feel like if you are not in a relationship with a Leo, definitely could be um, moving towards a relationship. For some of you, you may work with a Leo who is very much admiring you. Next, we have his Virgo's feelings for you, Pisces, as the Magician and the Five of Pentacles. So, Virgo... Huh. This is pretty interesting. Virgo doesn't want to be left out by you. I feel like Virgo will do anything for you not to abandon them, but their anything may not be the greatest. Like, they may try to, like... Um... I don't want to use the word trap, but you may be, you may, um, Virgo may be trying to trap you. I don't know. Or like they really do not want to lose you. So they'll really do anything. They'll offer you love. They'll offer you communication. They'll offer you commitment. They'll offer you passion. Whatever Virgo will do to make sure that they don't lose you. They're willing to do anything. Interesting. Um, next we have is Libra's feelings for you as the Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. So Libra is waiting for you two to come to some sort of compromise with one another. Libra may be waiting for you both to um, reach out to one another. Specifically, Libra may be waiting for you to reach out to them so you two can come back together, compromise, work together, and heal whatever needs to be healed. For others of you, I definitely feel like Libra may be thinking about reaching out to you. But there's definitely a waiting process here. I feel like they'd rather wait for you to reach out to them opposed for them to bite the bullet and say something. But I do feel like if you never do, they may end up saying, well, F it. I'm just going to reach out to Pisces. Next, we have a Scorpio's feelings for you as the Nine of Swords and Temperance. So Scorpio's trying to find peace from this connection. They definitely are overthinking this connection like crazy. Sleepless nights, a lot of anxiety, a lot of anxiousness. I do feel like Scorpio is trying their best to find peace within. I feel like if there was drama with Scorpio, they are very, very much regretful of it maybe they said something they shouldn't have said or whatever the case may be they really want to come back into balance with you they want to heal they want to come back together with you they want to bring closure to this argument so you two can have better energy with one another um but scorpio is definitely not feeling the greatest right now Next we have is Sagittarius feelings for you as the Six of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. It looks like Sagittarius is um, moving towards commitment with you. I definitely feel like they want to move away from any conflict, any um, feelings of wanting to give up on this connection and actually being stable. So if you are dealing with a Sagittarius, you definitely could be getting some sort of proposal or you could be traveling to see family with a Sagittarius. I don't know. Um, for others of you, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius who is married and they are going towards their marriage right now. You would know that, though. Capricorn's feelings for you. Hello. Two of Cups and the Knight of Cups. All right. So Capricorn is definitely falling in love with you here. Two of Cups, Knight of Cups, they view you as their person. They are very interested in coupling up with you. They are very interested in loving you. Knight of Cups, your Capricorn is definitely on pursuit to emotional openness with you. So if you are dealing with a Capricorn, they are definitely going to be a lot more emotional, a lot more just in tune with the energy. I definitely feel like Capricorn feels spiritually connected to you. Um, but they definitely are interested in coupling up with you. If you're not already coupled with a Capricorn, you definitely could be getting an offer of love from a Capricorn here. For others of you, you and your Capricorn are just getting closer, being very emotionally free with one another. Definitely a lot of I love you's being said or an I love you being said for the first time. 
Next, we have his Aquarius feelings for you, Pisces, as the Nine of Wands and the Five of Swords. All right. Definitely some sort of separated energy between you and Aquarius. Aquarius feels very defeated. They feel, um, they don't feel good about how things ended. They don't feel good about how they ended things or they don't feel good about how you ended things. I do feel like Aquarius would speak with you if you'd want to speak with an Aquarius, but I feel like they're trying their best not to come your way because they either feel like they will get ignored or they just feel like if they come their way, it would be pointless. I don't know. I mean, come your way, it would be pointless. And lastly, we have Pisces feelings for you, Pisces, as the star and the five of wands. Wow. So definitely a lot of challenge and a lot of conflict with a Pisces recently, and they are very interested in healing this. They are wishing that you two can heal the conflict. They are wishing that you two get better. They are wishing that you two stop arguing. They're wishing that you two stop having jealous tendencies with one another. Possibly some of you, you were um, arguing with your Pisces over other people. They just wish this would end. They don't want it to happen anymore. They don't want to feel jealous and secure. They want to be happy and they want to be hopeful for this connection. All right, Pisces. Let's get some Mystic Moon Oracle out for you. Let's get three cards for Pisces. Spirit for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. I really liked this reading. I feel like it flowed very, very nicely. Um, sometimes my readings don't flow very nicely because it's all over the place and it's crazy. But I really liked this one. So let's see here my beautiful Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs and their love lives for the end of July into August. Thank you. All right, Pisces, let's see. We have big dreams. We also have mirroring. And we have lessons. All right, so Pisces, remember how I said that you and this person both want to control the connection? That's this, big dreams and mirroring. But you two are both learning the lesson, like, you know what, I can't control another person. I need to let them do what they're going to do, and I'm just going to do what I want to do, you know? And if we love each other, if we respect each other, the relationship will be great. If um, there is energy that does not meant to be, then I trust that my life will unfold for me in the best way possible. So let's clarify this once more. I definitely feel like you and this person are learning the lesson of mirroring. It really doesn't get you anywhere. You know, you just give what they give and they give what you give and nobody really is bold and brave and courageous. You both are realizing that you might as well openly love one another and not try to control one another and just be very passionate, caring, and, you know, stable. So let's clarify this here. So on big dreams, we have patience. On mirroring, we have forgiveness. Yeah, definitely could be some sort of apologies thrown around as well. Like, I'm sorry for not saying certain things when I could have said certain things. Possibly um, they were mirroring you and it was boring to you. <laughs> and they are apologizing for that lessons with barrier yeah there has definitely been a barrier for this connection or a barrier for you to find new love or for this person to return back because there were spiritual lessons that needed to be learned with big dreams and patience there's also a lesson of um releasing expectations of people um and that's what i felt like for you pisces when in the spread before when I felt as though, you know, they may have a different way of showing love and it may not be as exciting to you as you're used to. But let's clarify this one more time. It's like you're learning a lesson to not like put high expectations onto people and just get to know them, get to know who they are and go with the flow. Patience with Dark Knight of the Soul. Yeah, it definitely could have been a pretty hard um, realization to go through forgiveness with separation yeah for a lot of you this person's lackadaisious energy caused an energetic separation between the two of you right nobody was being bold brave caring loving it was just kind of like on a level that was doing nothing 
For others of you, like I said, a past person wanting a second chance, coming back around, um, apologizing for possibly separating um, with you. And with Barrier, we have Inner Child. Yeah, a lot of Inner Child healing here. That's definitely why Dark Knight of the Soul is here. So let me clarify this mirroring forgiveness and separation. For some of you, Pisces, I don't feel like this is a past person. For some of you, I do feel like this is a new and your current energy. And you are going through inner child, dark night of the soul processes. And I do feel like for some of you, Pisces, even if you don't care for a past person, with this and the inner child with lessons... For some of you, a past person, even if you're in a relationship or interested in somebody new, they may dip their toe in seeing if they are accessible to you. And you may ignore them or cut them off in a way that releases the barrier. And spirit is like, wow, okay, so you have learned your lessons. You have um, spiritually grown in the ways that they wanted you to grow as inner child healing. Dark, oh wait, sorry, I'm only clarifying this. Mirroring, forgiveness, and separation with pause. Yup. Either your person was a little bit getting a little bit boring or they just weren't showing you the love that you wanted. They're definitely going to start doing that now. Um, for others of you, like I said, could be getting an apology from a past person. For others of you, I do feel like a past person may come into your energy for you to reject them to release the barrier to find new love. So I'm going to clarify pause. Release. There you are. Release. Releasing the mirroring energy. Releasing the feeling of being separated from this person because either they weren't loving you in the right way that you wanted or whatever the case may be. Like I said, could have been a little bit lackadaisical, kind of boring, not really that exciting. But you two are releasing that energy, learning the lessons. There's been extreme dark night of the soul you have been going through, either with this person or by yourself. You are releasing it. You are releasing the barrier. And new love is on its way. For some of you, a past person. For a lot of you, if you're in a connection, your connection is definitely getting a lot better. So, thank you, Pisces. And I will talk to you all very soon. Do not forget to like the video. And bye now.